Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your mid-month tarot reading. Thank you so much for being here. I'm really happy to be with you today. Um, let's dive right in, Sag. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to like the video. It makes a huge difference. And we're so much closer to 100,000 sub. Uh, people have been subscribing a lot this week and it means the world to me. So thank you, Sag. Thank you for the love. You guys are amazing. Let me start by picking the energy supporting you right now. What is the energy Ooh, supporting you right now? Okay, so we have the moon card riding the wave of the unknown. Fabulous energy. I never or rarely associate the moon card with fear. To me, it, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, because this is such a powerful energy. We are living in the present moment. We are accepting a lot of things. We are getting in tune with our intuition, noticing the signs from the universe. You could be feeling like there's some type of magical energy surrounding you right now, feeling like you're getting a lot of signs from whatever it is, you know, whatever you believe in, your angels, your guides, your ancestors, just the universe. It feels like right now is not a time to necessarily be in your head too much about something. Let it come to you. The moon is connected to the ocean, eh? So the ocean, it comes in waves. It's beautiful. We have to accept that we are not the one making decision. This is nature, you know? So... You could be in between a time, a period of change, not really knowing what decision to make, not really knowing. And again, we are riding the wave of the unknown. We are learning how to just be in the moment and ride this wave. This is fabulous energy, a lot of wisdom with the moon card. Okay, so let's see, Sage. What do we need to know for Sage? What do we need to know for Sag? Okay. We have the Nine of Wands and the Death card in the reverse. Okay. So a lot of intensity. It, the Nine of Wands, it always looks a little bit scary. That person seems like on the defensive, like ready for something to happen, not really knowing what's next. But... Number nine in the tarot is so powerful. There's a lot of intensity. It's just this moment before an important change. And with the, that card in the reverse, this is it. The transformation, you've already been through it. You are in it, like definitely deep, deep in it. There's something that is changing within you. You're about to experience one of the biggest change you've ever been through. And it could be feeling a little bit overwhelming to not know what's next, to not know exactly um, what's going to happen with this change. You know, people love tarot so much because we feel like we have control over the future. Like we feel like we can predict the future. No one can predict the future, not me, not the tarot, not you, no one. You have free will, you make the decision. Everything that you do, every moment of every day has an impact on the future. So that's why it's, it's impossible to predict. But reflecting on energy can have a huge impact on the decision you make or on the clarity that you have within you. I don't know if you've been asking for a sign, Saj. But there is something coming up really strongly for me about someone who asks for a sign. I want to know what's next. I need to know what's coming. I want to make sure I make the good decision. You will make the good decision when the time is right. Right now, it's not a time to rush anything. Things are going to be changing and moving by themselves in a really beautiful way for you. But this is intense. This is like an intense change. And it can feel a little scary. 
it can feel a little scary to not know. But again, I don't connect the moon with fear. But we still have nine of wands and the death card here in the reverse. So what is it? What is it, Sag? Empress. Okay. So receiving. It's your time to receive abundance. It's your time to receive love. This wish that you have or this thing that you want, it's happening. It's coming to you. And I think you're ready to receive it. Um, and I think there's so much... I love, love to see the Empress with the Moon card. Again, it's like I am putting my trust into the universe. I don't know what's coming. I don't know if this is going to be good for me. I don't know the outcome. But you know what? I am open to receive it. I am ready. There is someone who is definitely ready. You've been waiting for something long enough. You are definitely ready for this change to happen in your life. And this is going to be abundant. Um, so it could be about love, it could be about money, about work. If you've been waiting on some kind of answer and it's been killing you to not know, this is definitely positive. The outcome is going to be really spectacular and I'm excited for you. Ace of Cups, a brand new beginning, something that you love, something that you're passionate about. So much abundance that the cup is overflowing, Sag. Okay, we love the Ace of Cups. Um, this is seriously special. I'm trying to not get too excited, uh, but... A lot of water energy. I don't know if you have water in your chart or, again, have you been connecting with spirituality in a different way, in a deeper way? There is something that you manifested. There is something that you've been calling into your life and it's coming. It's here. It's knocking at your door. King of Wands. This is one of your power cards. Beautiful. You are so aware of your power, and that is your strength. That is one of your biggest strengths, Sag. You are aware of the magic you can create. You are aware of how you can impact other people's lives and how you can bring a lot of magic, a lot of abundance into people around you. Um, it feels seriously amazing. There's definitely a power couple type of energy. I don't know if you're dealing with, again, yeah, water sign or a Libra, a Taurus. There's something big here. King of Wands, you're ready to receive. You're ready for the next step. Nothing is going to bring you down. Wow. Nine of Cups? What? I told you, you've been manifesting something. You have some type of wish, some type of thing that you want and it's coming your way. But with the Nine of Cups, it's not just like, hey, here's the Nine of Cups. All your dreams are coming true. No, this is someone who has been working really hard. The road to get to the Nine of Cups is not easy. You have to go through all the Cups energy. Think about that. You have to open up and get this cup. You have to work on your self-love. You have to go through so many things. You have to heal. You have to take care of yourself. You have to deal with the inner child. I think that you've been riding the wave, like I said in the beginning. You've been riding that freaking wave like a pro. And now things are about to get really interesting. What is happening, Saj? What is happening with you? Tell me more. Tell me more. Listen, I don't know if you did some type of manifesting on the full moon in Leo that just happened. I don't know. I'm just saying, if you have this clear vision of what you want, this is exactly what's going to come to you. And it's going to be a lot more abundant that you could ever imagine. And I'm not sugarcoating. I really feel like this is, um, this is all you. You created this. Not only you created a solid foundation in your life, but you've been putting a lot of energy. See, we have another nine. 
Nine are so powerful. Nine are the moment of uncertainty and of excitement and stress and fear before we finally start a new chapter. And that's why they feel so intense. And I, I'm not surprised. We have nine, nine of wands, nine of cups, and nine of swords. There is nothing more... Uh, uncertain there is nothing more quote-unquote riding the wave of uncertainty than being in nine energy we're about to let go it feels so intense and it can be stressful it can be stressful humans we are not programmed to receive it doesn't feel comfortable for us so there could be a lot of feelings coming in for you coming up for you like do i deserve this is this really what i want um I had no idea this would happen this fast. I would I had no idea like this was possible. It seems too good to be true. Am I worthy? Is this a right timing? Um I'm hearing be careful what you wish for. Like this is going to be really intense. This is going to bring a lot of change into your life. You wanted something specific, but everything is changing to bring you this gift. Um intense nine 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 uh what is happening with you you know i i, I love everything numerology and everything that is connected to angel numbers and i truly believe that there is some type of divine message here with the three nines what does it mean for you is number nine important for you um Think about it. Be aware of the signs coming in. You're about to change your life. You're about to change something completely. You could be relocating. You could be meeting someone that will end up being the love of your life. But I don't know what it is. But it's, it's a change that will impact the rest of your life. This is a life-changing situation in the best way. Oh, yeah. And the tower is here. And the tower is not a negative card. Absolutely not. I told you there is a life-changing situation happening and it's coming in fast. And you manifested that. And it's bringing up so much change and so much energy that, again, it can feel overwhelming. But it all comes from your heart. This is absolutely what you wanted. Um... You have a lot of love either for a person or a situation. You're passionate about something. This is like your whole world. And the universe is working in your favor. And this change is going to be happening a lot faster than you thought. Trust me. And that's why it could feel a little bit shaky, a little bit uh, scary, a little bit overwhelming. Because you're like, oh, okay, this is it. This change is happening now. I don't know if I'm ready. Do I have what it takes? Like, how am I going to make this work? You're going to make this work. You're going to make this work. You are in King of Wands energy. Again, the unknown is... This is life, man. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't know what's going to happen in five minutes. We are living this way and that's why i feel the moon card is so important it's one of the most important and powerful card in the tarot because this is it this is life we have control over our actions but we don't have control over the future at all and we just have to accept that this is what being a human is you're going through some type of human experience and it's life changing there's four majors here um, and the tower is probably the deepest, most intense, transformative energy in the tarot. And we have the death card here. So what is happening? What is happening? Okay, cards are going a little crazy here. What do we have here? Let's see. Let's see what we have here. Six of wands, nine of swords. Okay, okay. We have four nines on the table. Nine could definitely be an important number for you. The moment you let go of fear, the moment you accept that 
this is going to be a difficult and intense change, but it's exactly what you want. It will bring you to this victory. It will bring you to this, um, the life that you always wanted. This is a dream come true. But you know what I told you before, the road to get there is not easy. There's a lot of sacrifice. There's a lot of things that need to be let go of. There's a lot of situation or relationship that needs to die. And you're going to have to face that. And you're going to have to be brave. And you're going to have to keep your heart, your mind, your soul open. So let me see what's on the floor here. Because I have cards that fell, like flew. Okay. Ten of swords. I'm not surprised. We're letting go. We're releasing what isn't meant for us, what doesn't serve us. We're not bringing that with us in this new chapter of our life. We don't need that. We don't need toxic energy. We don't need people that don't believe in us. We don't need to be in a situation that makes us feel shitty, that makes us feel powerless. Um, we have the high priestess here. The Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. You knew. You always knew. Your intuition guided you towards this new beginning, which is going to be really comfortable and abundant. Uh, if you feel overwhelmed, because trust me, as much as you have self-confidence, as much as you're powerful, Sag, there's going to be moments where you have to Focus on self-care, what feels good, what your body wants. Listen to your body. Do I need more sleep? Do I need more water? Do I need to get off my cell phone for a couple hours if if I can do it? Queen of Pentacles is the ultimate self-care card. What makes you feel good in the present moment? How can you pause even if you're going through so much change? Even if you're stepping into this new chapter of your life? You need to focus on self-care once in a while. It's really important that you listen to what your body wants. Um, Ace of Pentacles and the High Priestess. You always knew. I'm definitely talking to some really spiritually aware and powerful people right now. I feel like you followed your gut feeling for something and maybe it made other people uncomfortable around you. Maybe some people tried to tell you that it, it wasn't going to work. It wasn't safe. It wasn't a great idea that you should be careful. And you followed your instinct. You followed this inner voice that you have inside. And this is something really powerful. Humans in general... It's hard for us to listen to the voice of the intuition. The voice of the intuition is really quiet. The brain and the ego is super loud, but our intuition is quiet. You know, it's like a calm river. Um, and I feel like you are, you are starting to really live your life the way you always wanted to, a way that feels right for you. It's not about pleasing other people. It's not about making other people comfortable. It's not about being this version of herself that people want us to be. This is a badass, independent energy. I am doing things because they feel good, because I know that this is my truth. I know that this is... Um, I know that I have the power to create some type of life, some type of legacy even. I don't know if you have this great idea, if you want to start a business or are you relocating? Are you, um, it could be about love also, you know, the Empress is here of course, but this is so much deeper than just a love reading. This is... A change in your destiny, Sag. And you listened to you. You followed your own rules and you weren't trying to please other people. There's going to be a lot of cleaning and you're, like an, a lot of cleanups happening in your relationship. 
you're gonna see you're gonna see who is uh who is there for you who really cares for you who's gonna follow you in this next chapter you're gonna be leaving a lot behind and that's why it's gonna feel overwhelming you're leaving a lot behind all that isn't serving you all that needs to be clear give me a clear message what do we have here page of sword justice you're the hero of your story this is your story and it's going to be a story that people want to tell you are one to remember definitely you're getting your good karma back i think that you've waiting waited long enough for the universe to send something your way you wanted this life change you were not um satisfied with just being comfortable it wasn't enough for you you wanted action and you're getting action you're getting change you're getting fast movement and brand new energy and you're definitely ready for that um we have the king of sword also that came out i don't know if you work at communication i don't know if you're communicating with someone right now about this change about this new beginning uh, be clear with your intentions. Be clear when you speak about what you want. Keep your head up always. And I know you don't need me to tell you that, Sag. You know, you're a Sagittarius. We are learning from you to we need a little bit of your power. Uh, I'm an earth sign. I'm really inspired by Sagittarius energy. Like we... Um, are more careful and comfortable than you guys know how to take a leap of faith you know how to push through fear and to make things happen and i'm so inspired by that and that's why there's so many famous people who are sagittarius you know it's not a coincidence people know that there's so many powerful people who are sagittarius uh let me pick an oracle card for you sag i want to see what comes up sag what do we need to know what do we need to know? Mirror, mirror, the beauty you see in me is a reflection of you. This card has been coming up a lot because this is like the lover's card, you know? So if you've been inspired by other people, maybe artists or people around you, the thing that you love about what they're doing, you know, be you being inspired by the things they do, it's just a reflection of what you already have in you. And I think you're definitely aware of that now. Like, I can do this. This person has success doing that. I can do my version of it and have success also. Uh, there's a lot of success and abundance coming your way, Sagittarius, and I know you're ready for it. I'm not here to tell you get ready because you are. It's just uh, a matter of hanging on, you know, in the in-between period because this is going to be a lot of change. It can get overwhelming, but you're protected. You're definitely protected by someone or something. And you have good people around you and you have yourself. You have yourself. So amazing. Saj, thank you so much for being here. Take exquisite care of yourself. Until next time, bye-bye.